Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White III with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 262. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up, according to Reuters, President Vladimir Putin took a leading role in the latest tests of Russia's strategic nuclear arsenal, the most comprehensive since the 1991 Soviet collapse. The exercises featured prominently in news reports on state television, which seemed aimed to show Russians and the world that Putin is the hands-on chief of a resurgent power. The Kremlin said that tests involving command systems in all three components of the nuclear triad were conducted under the personal leadership of Vladimir Putin. Second, today, according to Yahoo News, China held naval exercises in the East China Sea in a robust show of military force intended to warn regional rivals against escalating territorial disputes. China regularly holds maritime drills in the fall, but sources close to the military said the drills were related to a territorial dispute that has been the source of recent flare-ups between China and Japan. A Chinese politics professor said, I don't see much chance of a war But I think Japan is preparing for one, and we should too. Third, today, according to Reuters, European Union leaders said they will further tighten economic sanctions if Iran does not curb its nuclear activities and engage in meaningful negotiations. Europe imposed new sanctions on the Islamic Republic this week, targeting trade, energy, and shipping as part of a Western push to force Iran to make concessions over the nuclear work. In a statement after a regular two-day summit, EU leaders said Iran was in flagrant violation of nuclear non-proliferation rules, but that if it moved to comply, the sanctions could be lifted. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verses 6 and 7, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. Uh, You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior today, before I leave you, may I encourage you to get to know Him before it is eternally too late. Uh, The Lord could come back for the church today. Uh, In order to be saved, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws at some point in your life, just as I have. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you. 
and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. Now, if you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will live eternally in heaven with God. Now, that is good news. Dear friend, if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose again by the power of God, and you want to be saved today, please pray this simple prayer with me right now. Do not hesitate. Holy Father God, just pray it after me phrase by phrase. Holy Father God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done evil in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, the Bible, you are now saved from hell and you're on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. Congratulations on receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, Please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he said, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get your business straight